Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will discuss how to extract tables from PDF files using Python. When reading research papers or working through some technical guides, we often obtain them in PDF format. They carry a lot of useful information and the reader may be particularly interested in some tables with datasets or findings and results of research papers. However, we all face the difficulty of easily extracting those tables to Excel or to data frames. Thanks to Python and some of its amazing libraries, you can now extract these tables with a few lines of code. To continue following this tutorial, we will need the following Python library, tabula-py. If you don't have it installed, please open command prompt if you're using Windows on terminal on Mac and install it using the following code. Please note that Tabula Pi is a Python wrapper for Tabula Java, so you will need Java installed on your computer in order to continue following this tutorial in Python. I also provided a link where you can download and install Java on your computer below this video. Now that we have the requirements installed, we'll need a few sample PDF files from which we will be extracting the tables. The file I'll be using is solely for the code examples, and you can simply access it by this URL, which I also provide below this video. Um, I downloaded this file and saved it in the same directory as our main.py as sample.pdf. However, for this tutorial, it really doesn't matter because the library allows us to access the PDF file either using URL or just by reading it from a directory. So let's take a look at this file. Um, it's a two pager that has a few tables, which we're particularly interested in. There's one here on page one, and there is another one on page two, and another one on page two. So in this tutorial, we'll discuss how to extract specifically these tables from this PDF file. Now let's dive into the code. In this section, we will work with the file mentioned in the previous section. So if you took a look at it, you could see that it has a total of three tables on two pages. So there's one table on page one, which is this one. And then there is two tables on page two right here. Now, suppose that you're interested in retrieving this table specifically from page one. We know that it is on the first page of the PDF file, and now we can extract it to CSV or data frame using Python. So the first method that we're going to look at first requires us to import the library um, and then specify the path to the PDF file. Note that there's two ways of doing it. So I can either call sample.pdf since I already have it saved in the folder. Alternatively, if you don't have it downloaded, you can have PDF path specified as the URL I mentioned earlier, and I've also provided a link to it. It doesn't really matter which either, which either of these you use. Um, so I'm just going to use the path to the file in my folder. Next, we will have this something DFS, and actually it's going to be a list. It's going to be a list of data frames, and I'll explain shortly how exactly it works. So to read the tables, we will call tabula read underscore PDF. We will need to provide the path to the file to it and specify which pages we would like it to um, inspect. So we know that the table is located on page one. So we specify pages equals to one. And what the above code does is that it reads the first page of the PDF file, searching for tables and appends each table as a data frame into a list of data frames, DFS. 
Um, so obviously we can check how our code is doing by printing the length of DFS. And we know that there is only one table which we're interested in. So the length here should be one. So let's take a look if that actually works. Perfect. So we see output here. So there's only one data frame. Now, if you want to take a look at how it looks like, um, we can just essentially print the first entry in the list. And we should get exactly the table that we're looking for. And here it is, right? Exactly as the table that we wanted. And lastly, the step would be to write this out to a CSV file. So we will locate um, the data frame and we'll just call two underscore CSV. And let's just call it um, first table CSV. Let's run the code. So we see the code completed and then we see this first underscore table CSV file right here, right? Exactly with the same entries as we were interested in. Now, this was the first method. The second method allows us to basically do the same thing, but with way less steps. So we would still need the path um, to the file, but what we, what we can essentially call is another method here, which is called convert underscore into. So instead of running several lines of code, this basically allows us to do everything at once. So we give it the path. Um, next, we need to specify um, the name of the file that we're writing. And let's call this first table underscore two dot CSV um, for the second method. Um, we also need to specify the output format and the output format is going to be CSV. And lastly, similar to the previous method, we would need to tell it the pages that it would be inspecting. And it's also page one. Let's run the code. And we see that the new file has been generated right here. Right, and these two um, CSV files are identical. So great functionality, two methods. Um, but it's important to note that both of the above methods are easy to use when you're sure that there is only one table on a particular page. Right, so if we look back here, we knew right away that on page one, there's only one table. Now, what happens if there's actually two tables, right? This might create some complications to the current logic. So in the next section, we will explore how to adjust the code when working with multiple tables. Recall that the PDF file has two tables on page two. Um, the larger table here and a bit of a smaller table underneath it. And these are the tables we would like to extract. So using method one from the previous section, um, we can extract each table as a data frame and have a list of these data frames. So we already have the PDF path. Um, now let's do the same thing as we did before. Tabula, read PDF. PDF path, and we basically now tell it to only look at page two. Um, note that it should only be two data frames in a list, so the length of DFS should be two. So let's check that. Okay, running the code is completed. The length is two, so we have two data frames. So each table is um, a data frame stored in the list. Now, 
if we want to write it to CSV, we'll simply just need to do a for loop. For i in range lan dfs. DFS I. So we'll iterate through each entry in the list and um, save it as a separate CSV. And let's call it um, page two table I here and then dot CSV. Right, so let's run the code. Perfect. So we see two CSV files extracted here, and they are the two tables we're interested in. Note that if you try to use method two described in the previous section, it will extract the two tables into a single worksheet in the CSV file, and you would need to break it up into two worksheets manually. In the previous sections, we focused on extracting tables from a given single page of the PDF file. Now, what do we do if we simply want to get all the tables from all of the pages in this PDF file and save them as separate CSV files? Keep in mind, it's relatively easy to go page by page when you only have two pages and you know exactly what you're looking for. But if you're working with some research paper that has 100 pages and there's 20 or more tables obviously there needs to be some better way and thanks to tabula pi it's um very easy to implement this even if you have several pages with several tables all that we need to do is to essentially tell um the method to look at all pages instead of looking at only one page right so and let's just call our new files all pages table i so now after running this code the goal is to have all the tables saved as their own csv files and we know that there's three tables so the solution that we're expecting is basically three csv files Let's take a look. Perfect. So here are our files. The first table, the second table, and the third table. In this tutorial, we discussed how to extract tables from PDF files using Tabula Pi library. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button, and be the first one to know when the next video gets uploaded. Feel free to leave any comments below if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos you would like me to make. Also, check out my blog for complete code walkthroughs. I've provided the link before, and stay tuned for more Python programming tutorials.